Alright, well, I'm working on this uh, Salu Spa or Lazy Spa, whatever these things are called, inflatable hot tub with the big egg thing here. We're getting an error 02, E02. So with this guy, you power it on. Hold this to get that to power up. And then if we touch this recirculate button, you hear a relay click. Clicks off. And we have E02 flashing on the screen there. So what this usually has to do with is this little water sensor right here. And what this is, is this is apparently a reed switch. Well, so what happens is when water is moving through this uh, tube right here, I believe the water moves this way, it moves a flapper up that has a magnet on it, and that magnet closes a switch in this little guy here. One thing that's interesting you can do to test, we can pop this switch out. So if we just take a magnet and set it here, set this on the magnet, power back on, and hit the recirculate button, you'll notice it'll just keep going endlessly. Which is actually not good, because what this thing is trying to protect is probably this heating element. So I'm going to turn it off. And there's our noise right there. Now what this probably means is that we don't actually have water moving through here. And that should be something that probably is pretty easy to tell. Um, but I don't think we have water moving through here, and so I think the area that we need to check is going to be the pump. Uh, down below in the bottom of the egg, whatever wherever the water pump is, so we're going to take a look at that next. So I plugged off these holes in the tub, disconnected the pump, flipped this guy over, it's just a few screws to pull off the metal plate on the bottom. Looking under here, I see this guy right here is our circulation pump for circulating water, I believe. Um, and then I spotted, let's see, right there is the uh, power cable for this guy. So, flipped it over and followed that power cable up to here. On mine, it's labeled E at this uh, power block. There's a cover on it that I just popped off. And um, what we're gonna do now is we are gonna test for voltage uh, and see if the brain is giving it voltage to turn on. Let's see what happens. All right, so I got my multimeter out, got the voltmeter set to AC. All right, so I'm holding the probes on there. I'm gonna turn this on. And then we're gonna hit the recirculate button. Let's see what we got, there we go. All right, so it is sending voltage. I think the pump is not turning on. So there are just um, two screws holding this guy in here. They go kind of right in that slot right there and the same on the other side. And then it just pops out of here, which is pretty cool. So I'm just gonna loosen this, pop this pump out. All right, so I pulled the ground and the power wires off there, got the tubing off and I'm gonna open this baby up and see what's inside. So this guy I think is like a washing machine similar to that where you've got this um, sealed impeller here. Might uh, see if we can hook some power up to it and see if it'll, we can get it to go. All right, I got it hooked up to a power cord. Let's see what happens if I plug it in. You see that? It's just kind of getting stuck there. Let's see if I pull that off if anything different happens. There we go. Yeah, something's wrong here. Alright, we are just going to pull this 
apart again. All right, got it open. Pop this guy out. All right, so here's the new impeller. You can tell size is not exactly right, but it's pretty close. So we'll need to cut the rod down to length because I know the rod is not right length. And then I think these impeller flaps also need to get cut down to length. Yep. We've got these little guys. This goes in here. Oh, that's not the right size. That's not good. I definitely don't like how loose that is in there. But I also don't like how loose the impeller shaft is in here. Yeah, it's actually not too bad. Maybe we just leave it like that. We'll see. Alright, I used some pliers to pull this guy out. But it was pretty jammed in there. That actually might have been a good part of why this wasn't spinning. I just took these wire cutters and just snipped off a little bit of each of these fins to try to match them up a little more closely with this guy. And uh, we're going to drop this back in here and call it good, I think.